Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Amber and this is a channel all about plus size fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Today, we're going to look at City Chic. So City Chic, for those who are not familiar, is a boutique actually that started in Sydney, Australia in 1999 and it gained a lot of traction and excitement from the Plus community and now it has over 200 locations worldwide. So I'm gonna to read to you from their website kind of what their whole vibe is um, and I'll actually show you what the website looks like as well. But this says, City Chic embodies a bold, sexy, glam and chic lifestyle, designing for the confident, curvy woman who has a passion for fashion and style. You will find a curated range of weekly new arrivals to keep your curves on trend. They say it's all in the fit, designed with curves in mind, um, and every garment is thought of through fit and fabrication very seriously. They get some of their top fabrics and prints in fashion houses from London, Paris, and New York. And then it does say on here that um, it is a plus size dress destination from workwear to formal to occasion wear. And I do find that it is um, a little bit dressier, more occasion, not as casual. They go from sizes 14 to 24, so obviously opportunity to expand sizes at some point. But their size chart does look a little bit different. Um, their 14 is actually considered an extra small, and then the 24 is the extra, extra large. So just make sure you're looking at their measurements on their size chart when you decide to order from them. And you guys, if you can't notice, I am getting over a cold, so you get this really super sexy nasally <laughs> voice right now. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll be back to normal in a couple days. <sighs> but for now, enjoy. So for today's try on, I got some tops, um, sweaters, and some dresses ranging from kind of more casual to a little bit more occasion and wow. And for the tops, I'll just wear a pair of my old trusty Target jeans with them. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. As a reminder, here are my measurements. I am 5'6", I wear about a size 22, and I am straight from the front, but curvy from the side, so a curvy rectangle. So the first thing I'm wearing is the Intrigue sweater. I'm wearing a size 22 in the color black, and it was $39.50. So I actually really love the fit of this sweater. It is a little bit more of a fitted body, it's great length. Um, and it's just a regular jersey stitch, but like the, the quality of the yarn is really nice. And then it's got rib from like this elbow point all the way down, and the sleeves are a little bit longer, which is always really cozy. There are decorative little pearl buttons at the cuff here. And this is meant to be an off-the-shoulder style, so you can choose to wear it off of both shoulders, or just kind of do like an asymmetrical shoulder. Um, and it feels like it'll stay off really well. I've had a sweater before that like pops up all the time So this one actually feels really good and I apologize if you're hearing bags rustling in the background That would be the precious little Nova <laughs> having too much fun <laughs> um, But yeah, ultimately I really like this I like that it's a little bit more of that slim fit But like still easy and relaxed up here and then you can easily wear it with a bunch of different things from skirts to dress pants to jeans um, so yeah this one is super cute I don't know if I love the buttons here so I might take them off and just let it be kind of a plain black sweater but otherwise this one's definitely a keeper this next top is called the in awe top I'm wearing a size 22 or the XL um, it is 100% poly it's the color pine and it was $34.50. So here it is untucked and because of the hip measurement, I'd probably size up one. It is a little bit fitted for me in the hip. Um, but the fabric is kind of this matte satin. It's poly. They use a lot of poly at City Chic, so I wish maybe there would be some other options outside of poly. But the rest of the fit is super comfortable. Um, you've got this tie at the neck, which you can choose to wear opened or tied up. And then there's a puff sleeve with some fullness. There's a cuff with three buttons. And then it is elastic um, at the buttonhole, so those do stretch a little bit. 
And then overall, just like kind of a nice, easy fit at the top. And I, if I kept this size, I would just wear it like, I mean, I'd probably wear it tucked in either way, um, just because it gives a little bit more shape. But I do think that this one is the color, first of all, is stunning. I'm like obsessed with green right now. Um, but overall, it's just, it's really pretty and it's a good kind of like work or festive top. Um, the holidays are over, so I can't say it would be a good Christmas top, but it would have been. Uh, so I think like green obviously is like on trend now, so you can definitely wear this outside of the holiday season. But I do think this one is really pretty and it's comfortable and the fit is nice besides the hip for me. Okay, so next up, this is the all ruched top. I'm wearing a size 22 in the color black. It is a poly span and it was $29.50. So let me untuck it for you. So it's a knit fabric, so lots of stretch. Um, the length is a good length. It hits that low hip. Then you get this really pretty kind of sweetheart neckline. It has a short sleeve. And then this ruching detail at the princess seams as well as the a little bit of the center front, just the bust part. There's also shirring at the side seams and then at the princess seams on the back as well. There is a layer underneath um, and the effect of both of the fabrics together has a very like compressive feel to it, which is kind of nice. You feel like you have like Spanx or something on underneath. Um, what I do find to be a little bit weird is it's kind of thick feeling, so like if you're tucking it into jeans, it does feel a little bit thick kind of right here where that extra fabric is under the, the waistband. Um, but beyond that, I think this is a great top if you're looking for something a little bit like sexy but comfortable. We're definitely seeing a lot of these kind of like swim, swim to mitts. Um, in trend right now, so it's almost like, ooh, is it like a sexy swim top? Is it a regular top? You know, it's kind of this like hybrid approach. Um, I don't know if I love the short sleeve with this. Like I wouldn't have minded maybe an elbow sleeve or like a three quarter or a long. The short, maybe just for my proportions, isn't the best. Um, but other than that, this one is definitely a cute little top and I think it's pretty um, flattering and comfortable otherwise. So this next one is definitely a little bit of a party top, and this is the sequin cami top. I'm wearing a size 22 in the color emerald, and it was $39.50. So the actual sequin quality is really pretty. There is a little bit of stretch to the fabric, so super comfortable. Um, I'm wearing a size 22, and I'm finding that it is a little bit big at the bust, um, like I wouldn't mind it being a little more fitted, but then also I just don't have enough like swing to the hem. Like I wish there was a little bit more here. Uh, so my proportions for this top are a little bit opposite. Like I need a little bit bigger bust and a little smaller hip. Um, but otherwise like I'm obsessed with this color. It's like my new favorite color. And it does have little cami straps, this like double strap detail. And they are adjustable. And then the hem is definitely shorter. It's like, I mean, I have a long torso, but I'd say like a high hip. And then it dips in the back. I think this is a good look on a lot of people. Personally, don't love it on myself just because I have so much projection back here. Um, it kind of flattens it out a little. But I think in general, this is definitely a cute little party celebration occasion top. And it's ridiculously comfortable. So yeah, this one's fun. And I don't feel like my arms would get scratched up if I went without a jacket, but you could definitely wear a cardigan, um, a blazer, a bomber, a moto jacket, like leather, any of those things over it, it would be a really cute look. So this next top is definitely giving a little bit more spring summer vibes for me, um, but I do think it's really beautiful. And I'll show you later, like you can throw a jacket over it to make it more wear now. So this is the crystallized top. I'm wearing a size 22 in the color ivory and it was $34.50. So this one is super cute. Um, so it's got this like mesh and embroidery at the top. 
and it's like this little kind of swirl floral embroidered pattern. Let's see if I can get up close enough. I don't think so. Um, and then it has a peplum that is two rows of little pleated fabric. The nice thing about this is the back is like a stretch fabric. So it's super comfortable, stretches. You don't have to worry about just like anything being uncomfortable because there is some movement. The straps do have adjusters, which are nice. And then the length itself, on me, it definitely dips a little bit longer on the back. Um, but in the front, I'd say it's about mid hip, which isn't too bad at all. I think this one is really cute. I actually like love the little playful nature of the pleats. And this is how I would wear it right now. I would go grab a little moto jacket and just layer it on top. And now it's a cute little look and you'll stay uh, warm enough in the winter, but you can still wear it right now. So last up for tops, this is the ruched sleeve blouse. I'm wearing a size 22 in the color black and it was $29.50. So this is a non-stretch woven rayon crepe fabric. It has a regular kind of like crew neckline and then a puff sleeve with a little bit of ruche detail. Um, there is elastic kind of at this little detail here. And then the sleeve hits about elbow length. The length itself is pretty long. It actually like covers my butt. And this same size as that green tie neck one, but there seems to be a little bit more ease, just a little bit in the hip. I'd still probably wear it like with a half tuck or something regardless. Um, and I do appreciate that there's enough room in the sleeves so far because I do have like generous arms. But with that being said, this one almost feels like it's maybe too big, especially at like this, the opening. Um, I have quite a bit of room here. So I don't know, I think this is a good top for like layering under things. I don't know if it feels special enough to like be worn as like the top, but she fits pretty well and <laughs> that's a good accomplishment. So if you want something a little bit more basic but with a little detail in your closet, this one would be a great option for you. And now you know I had to try on a jumpsuit. So this is the Renegade jumpsuit. I'm wearing a size 24. It's in the color light denim and it was $59.50. So I probably wouldn't wear these together, uh, but that's what I had on, so. <laughs> um, the thing about this jumpsuit is there is no stretch in the denim. So pulling it up, it was actually pretty fitted at this waist point. Yes, it comes with buttons that you could undo, but if I undid them, could I easily redo them? I don't know. So I <laughs> wiggled my way in. I do have a long torso, so keep that in mind. And for me, this bib is hitting a little bit lower than I'd like. I feel like I'd like it like maybe here, uh, but I just don't have the torso length in the garment to accommodate that. These straps are adjustable, which is great. And then there are pockets. I like the distress and destruction on the knees. And then there's a little pleated detail at the hem, which is supposed to give kind of this like relaxed tapered vibe, but I'm not quite getting that. Like these are cute and they're great for what they are, but like it's just not quite fitting, I guess, how I anticipated. I feel like overall they could have benefited from stretch in the denim, but without the stretch, I do feel like these are a really cute pair. And I mean, they might stretch out a little bit as you wear them. So if you are looking for something a little bit more relaxed, that'll probably happen. Um, but yeah, ultimately not a bad pair. Just be careful what size you order, I guess. Um, if you're a little bit fuller in the waist, this might be a little bit awkward to get up. So you've been warned. Okay. So let's jump into some dresses. This first one is the blue ditzy dress in the color black. I'm wearing a size 22 and it was $89. Okay, first thing I noticed, it's definitely short. 
<laughs> but I mean, it's kind of cute short, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I'm just not used to wearing things this short, so it feels a little bit awkward to me. But maybe if I wore some like black bike shorts underneath it, um, it would feel a little bit more <laughs> secure. So the, and you know what, I might even size up here if you want a little bit um, kind of looser, easier vibe, but this one does fit me like pretty well. Um, it does have these ties at the waist and then there is some elastic at the back waist, so there is stretch. And with the ties, then you can kind of choose how tight you want to tie um, like the, the waist and the bodice. I love this deep neckline. We're seeing a lot of that in trend. And then it does have seaming that goes under the bust with a little bit of shirring. The sleeves are a short puff with a little ruffle and elastic at the bottom, which is pretty. I wish there were pockets. Um, but otherwise, this dress is super cute, and it's got this like black grounded print with different shades of blue and some rust in the floral. I don't know, this one's definitely cute. It's like a little 90s vibe to it. Let me know down below. Do you guys think I should keep this one for myself? Um, and like be bold and, and wear a shorty dress outside, or uh, should I send her back? So this next one is another little mini, and this is the electric dress. I'm wearing a size 24 in this one. It's in the color black, and it was 44.50. So I just I did size up here, knowing that this was more of like a slim fit dress, um, but the fabric is stretchy. So if you are looking something more bodycon, definitely your regular size is good. Um, I don't mind. The fit of this on the body and then there is a square neck here with a puff sleeve that hits right around the elbow and there's a, like a band at the bottom and then the back neckline is a square as well yep which is cute and then it has like this shirt tail so it dips down in the front dips down in the back and then peaks up at the side it's all just a little bit too short for me um <laughs> yeah I, <laughs> these thighs just don't come out, like, they, they hide. Um, but if it was a little bit longer, like, I'd love this. I think it's cute. It is a little bit big at the shoulder here, um, and I do have quite a bit of excess at the neckline. But the rest of the body fits really well. I just wish maybe it was a couple inches longer. Um, so City Chic, if you're listening, make this, but maybe as, like, a knee length or a midi and I'd buy that right up. So this next dress is the underground floral maxi dress. I'm wearing a size 22 in the color black and it was 59.50. So this, oh, I thought it was the same print as that little blue one, but it's not. It's a different little floral with oranges. The fabric in the color of oranges, not with oranges. <laughs> <laughs> the fabric is a sheer poly chiffon fabric. It's got this pretty little sweetheart neck and this tie with the keyhole. There's nothing behind the keyhole, so you might be a little exposed, but the tie does a pretty good job of covering that if you're concerned. It is more fitted in the bodice and the waist, and it does have a zipper in the back because um, the intent is a little bit more of like a slip dress. With that being said, I feel like this is really comfortable. Um, there is a slit at the one side and then it is fully lined um, on the body. The sleeves are unlined. The sleeves are long. They've got elastic. Actually, I think they're maybe supposed to be three quarter sleeve. Um, and then there is some elastic at the top edge of the shoulder as well. I think this one's really pretty. Once again, kind of that like, 90s vibe but then also a little bit boho and <laughs> I did switch up the shoes my sister hi Amy was texting me saying you need to stop wearing your white boots and give them more options <laughs> you guys I love my white boots what can I say um, but yeah I think this one is actually like really versatile on the type of shoes you can wear you could put some sneakers you could put little combat boots um, or lug sole boots they have on the photo of the model 
And then you can even wear a heel, you can wear a booty. Um, so lots of options here. But yeah, this one's really comfortable and really pretty. So this next little party dress is the new level dress. I'm wearing a size 22 in the color black and it was $44.50. So this one's really cute. I actually don't feel like I own a lot of like little party dresses um, and this one is definitely one that I'm gonna keep. It's in this really kind of nice luxe satin quality. The neckline is a little bit too open, um, so I'll probably like tack it or something, or maybe wear like a little black lacy bralette underneath it, which could be kind of a sexy moment. Um, it's got elastic at the waist, and then this tie that you know you can take off if you want. And then the skirt itself is two different layers, super cute. It's just above the knee. And the sleeves are long with a little bit of ruching at the shoulder and then elastic at the hem. This one is super cute. I mean, I feel like I wish they had, maybe they do have more colors. I'll have to go check online, but I feel like an electric blue or a hot pink of this would be so fun. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this one in my closet. Oh, and <laughs> the shoes. Yes, yeah, Amy, another pair of new shoes here. Um, these are from Torrid and these, I like them because they give you a little bit of like a dressy heel, but the actual heel itself is a block heel, which means it's sturdy and it's like shorter. It's like probably two inches or something. So that's kind of all my feet can handle. Um, so I like that it's like a wearable high heel. When I saw this next one online, I was super obsessed, first of all, with the color, um, and then also just like the details on it. So this is the shimmer slip dress. I'm wearing a size 24. It is in the color Jade, and it was $59.50. So obsessed with the color, love it so much. Um, it has this cowl neckline, which is really in trend right now. The fabric is a poly crepe. There is no stretch to it. And it is just a body skimming dress. It goes down to just above the ankle on me. And no zippers. There are adjusters on the strap, which is nice. And I'm finding that it is a little bit big right here on my hip because I don't really have like much hip here so I might go get it tailored to kind of get rid of this extra little they're called ears um, and then maybe actually this seems to be sitting better than it was before um, I'm also there's a lot of static with my spanks underneath it so that's <laughs> probably not helping my cause but I think this is so stunning um, oh, yeah I'm like obsessed with this dress. And I think you could easily like make it more casual with like a sneaker and an oversized denim jacket. So lots of options here and I'm definitely gonna keep this one. This next dress is the Va Va Voom dress. I'm wearing a size 22 in the color Garnet and it was $79.50. So this is definitely a little like, sexy number over here. Um, definitely good for occasions, weddings, date night, anniversary, that type of thing. Um, it is in a poly non-stretch fabric. It has, there's a lot of elements actually to this dress that were really thoughtful in the construction. So for the bust, it has pads underneath. So if you don't want to wear a bra, that's an option for you. I have a strapless bra on underneath. Um, there is also boning, so kind of like little like plastic pieces inserted so it can keep its shape. Then they also added some elastic um, smocking panels right here under the arm, which is great because then that gives you some stretch and comfort. There is a uh, zipper in the back as well because this is more of a fitted style. And then you have this little ruffle detail that starts at the neck, goes all the way down the front, and it has this pretty kind of like off the shoulder feel, and then it turns into like this cape detail in the back, which is so pretty. The body itself, there is a waist seam here, no stretch, and then just fitted all the way down. 
At the seam in the middle, there's some shearing, and then it is fully lined. No stretch in the lining, no stretch in the body. I might consider sizing up here. Um, it's not a bad fit, but like for my right here specifically, it's not laying flat. So I could probably use just a little bit extra. I just want to make sure that sizing up one isn't going to like become shapeless on me because this is a pretty good fit for me. Um, I think the color is really pretty, this kind of cranberry color. And ultimately, yeah, she's just kind of a little fun party dress. This next dress is the Divine Whimsy Maxi Dress. I'm wearing a size 24 in the color Whisper Blue, and it was $94.50. So this is really beautiful. Like, I don't have a place to wear it, but it's stunning. Um, it's this nice kind of soft cornflower blue color. It's got lace, detailing, and mesh, and netting. Um, it has this kind of like plunging neckline with this, um, I don't want to call it nude because obviously nude is different for everybody's body type, but it is supposed to be kind of more of like a, a nude tone. And when I first saw it, I was like, geez, that's going to be really stark against my super pale <laughs> body, but it's actually not too bad. Um, and we're seeing so much of this plunge that it feels nice not to have to like worry about if I'm being exposed or not. The fit on the, this is like really impeccable. Like usually this neckline can be a little bit tricky and I feel like it fits flawlessly on me. I think this back detail is really pretty. There is a zipper. However, fun fact about me, if there's an opportunity to get something on without unzipping it or like unbuttoning it, I'm definitely gonna try to do that. Um, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm like, let me just put it over my head. So there is a zipper, but I did not need to use it to put it on. Um, there is no stretch in this garment. And for that, with that being said, this like fits me perfectly. Like almost enough that I feel like I need to keep it. But like, where am I wearing this? Like I have zero occasions to <laughs> go in this, <laughs> but really beautiful. And uh, yeah. I like her a lot. So this last one is definitely another occasion dress. This is the Radiance Maxi dress. I'm wearing a size 20 in the color lilac and it was $94.50. So I, they must have been sold out of larger sizes. So I was like, all right, let me try the 20 thinking that there'd be like stretch in this bodice. Um, it's definitely too tight. Ooh, it was fun to put on because, you know, as I said, I don't undo zippers. So, <laughs> um, I love this though. I think for like a prom, a quinceanera, a sweet 16, like this would be such a pretty dress. So it's got this beautiful sequin bodice and there's this little kind of notch here and then the skirt actually has a lot of layers so it's got a lining and there's a little bit of tool at the bottom and then there is like another lining fabric that's satin and then there's two layers of the tool so a lot of thoughtful detail here um if it was my size it would be super comfortable there is a back zipper um the sequins might get a little bit scratchy under your arm but that's kind of the nature of sequins. But ultimately this color is so pretty and I definitely feel like a little bit of a princess. So <laughs> yeah, this one is definitely special and uh, I wish I had some place to wear her too. You guys, I think people need to start inviting me to weddings and parties and <laughs> stuff like that. My wardrobe is screaming for it. All right guys, that wraps up the City Chic haul. I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, I don't have places to wear a lot of the things because my life just isn't like that vibe lately, but maybe that's a reason to go to those type of events. Um, let me know down below what your favorite items are and if you're going to scoop up any for yourself. 
And as always, thank you for stopping by and letting me play dress up. And please comment, like, subscribe, share, and come back for more. See you next time.